Hello, everybody, and welcome to Grow My Efficient Business Podcast. My name is Chad Muncy, and I am delighted that you decided to join me today. This is the podcast where we talk about how to become the best efficient and how to create the business of your dreams. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Grow My Efficient Business. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're listening on the podcast or watching a video, I so do appreciate you taking the time out to listen to this content. And it's my desire to help your business. I hope that the information that you get from me truly does help your business grow, uh, help you become the efficient that you want to be, and helps change your life. So thank you so much for listening. Today, I want to jump in to a subject that I hear often. People ask me about um, elopements, micro-weddings, large-size ceremonies. Chad, what should I be doing? How do I know what to do? And what will attract more customers and clients to me? And I'm going to cover just a few items right off the top of my head that I want to clear some things up. The first thing is you need to understand that every area of wherever you're at. If you're in the United States, if you're in the UK, no matter where you're at, there are rural areas and there are areas that are less populated. If you're in an area that's less populated, that means your services that you offer need to be based on what that area supports. So like if you live near mountains and you know people come to the mountains on vacation and people like to get eloped in the mountains and you have done your research and you know what competitions around there, your services should reflect the area that you're in. If you're in an area that's less populated, your services should in- include, most of your services should include a larger travel radius. So for instance, if I'm in New York City, city or in a large city in North Carolina like Charlotte, my services are going to be a much smaller territorial radius, so a much smaller travel radius than if I was out in the country. I would need to include in my services, you know, up to whatever, 30 miles, whatever that includes where you can get out to where people are getting eloped, getting married. Now, the type of service, for instance, if you're doing a micro wedding or an elopement, a lot of those will take place in um in a tourist area or at the beach or in the mountains or some other tourist area. So if you're in a tourist area like New Orleans, you're probably going to end up doing a lot of elopements and a lot of micro weddings and your services, your web page, your marketing, everything could should kind of be funneled into those services that that attract people more. If you're in uh, if you're in a large city that has a lot of things to offer already, and you know there's tourism there, but there's also a lot of people that live there, and they're going to be getting married. Go on Google and look at all of the venues, look at all the wedding venues, and you'll be able to see what type of services you should offer because the wedding venues are a telltale sign. If you go and you see a lot of wineries and breweries and really nice historic buildings, and you know that these buildings can hold hundreds of people, and you see on their site that people are having weddings that, at these venues and their larger weddings, you know, 100 to 300 uh, people weddings, that's great. Your services should center around doing larger ceremonies. Is that where you're going to make a lot more money? Maybe. Um, If you're in a touristy area and you're offering micro weddings and elopements, then we have to talk about taking the elopements and micro weddings and making them completely customizable and having add-on services. I've had people come to me and say, Chad, I've tried doing elopements in this area. I know has a lot of people that get eloped, but I'm only charging, you know, $150, $175, and that's hard to do enough elopements to support my business. And that is not how we do it. That's not what I teach. And if you listen to me, you will know that in the past I've talked about add-on services. This is what I teach and train my students to add on services. You have to be flexible and be able to customize your services. For instance, I do elopements, and I have a very small elopement that is $150. However, there are set requirements. So if they go on my website, they see there's an elopement ceremony, but it has to be 
on a weekday, it has to be between whatever hours I put, eight and three, and it has to be within two miles, two miles of my office. So the time I'm spending on it, uh, it's already a templated ceremony, and it says that on my website that this is a template, it's pre-written, and if you want custom, uh, then that's going to be an add-on. If they want to go outside that two-mile radius, that's going to be an add-on. If they want to um, have a custom ceremony that includes their love story and vows, that's an add-on. And by the time they add things on, they're like, man, that can get expensive. Oh, but wait, I have an elopement package that includes all of those things. It includes me going up to seven miles. It includes an arbor that I set up. It includes custom vows. It includes several items, and they see that, and that's between five and $700. So you see my price range, even though my time only went up a little bit because I, these, these add-on services, I'm not traveling that much further, but I'm adding it on to make it worth uh, doing that for me and to make it profitable. It's all profitable based on the time I spend on each service, each ceremony. If you are spending many, many hours on an elopement preparing because you're doing a custom ceremony and you're doing custom vows and you're traveling five miles instead of one or two, then you're shooting yourself in the foot because you can easily add on services to the micro weddings and the elopements. And then when people see the a la carte, the add on services and say, well, that's expensive. You say, I've got a package for that. Then the package includes all of these things for them. And the package is what you want to sell anyway. By signing up on your website to do elopements and saying, hey, I want to do elopements and telling people you'll do them for $150 and then traveling and and all of the other things you're adding in, that is not a business. Your business has to be profitable based on your time, based on how much time you put into the ceremony, based on travel, and then based on the perceived value that the customer sees. So when they see the elopement and all the add-ons and say, that's that's expensive, and then you say, I've got a package for that, though, and they're like, wow, that includes everything. The perceived value of that package When they first go on your website, they might say, I don't need a package, but then they've added on all these other things. Then the perceived value of that package is, it's much more valuable to them because you have told them what's included and shown them why that package is more valuable. And then they go with the package. I almost, I probably say 95% of the time, talk people into getting a package because it will save them money, but it's actually more money for me than if I would have just sold them the straight out ceremony or elopement. They're getting a package. So this whole thing is me trying to teach you that if you will allow yourself to not be by the book, I'm offering this and this and this, and that's what people are going to get. But if you will be different than your competition and you will actually customize packages and you will allow people to freely think and say, oh, I'd like that. Oh, I'd like that. I'd like that. How much is that? And then you say, I can make you a package for that and it'll save you a hundred dollars. And that package ends up being $600 and it includes these items and you're making more money with the package the perceived value is better than all of these a la carte things because they're saving money. But ultimately, if you would have just gone with one service instead of building a package, um, you wouldn't have made as much money. And then you're going to have a happy client. You're, they're going to tell everybody, they customized this package for me, and it turned out to be incredible. They saved me money, and then other people will come to you. So the main thing is look at your area. Look at the area that you're in. Who do you serve? Look at your competition. And you've heard a lot of this stuff before, but I've had some questions lately about micro weddings and elopements and how they people don't make enough money off of them. And I hope this will clarify some of that. Now, if you're in an area where you can you can do ceremonies that have 200 to 300 people or even starting at like 100 people and up, you can charge a really uh, decent amount. I mean, you, you should be charging... Uh, at least minimum $400 and somewhere, some of them up to $1,000 and more. You should be known for your style, for your specialty. And if you want to know more about that, keep following me. 
Um, I've actually got some copies here of if you're a new officiant or even if you've been doing it a while, you might want to download this anyway since it's free. This is the, can you see it? It's the Quick Start uh, Guide for Officiants, and it is jam-packed with some of the some of the stuff that I teach. Um, you can see how much is in there. Oh, can I get the back? Yep. So it's it's got a lot of good stuff in there, and it's free. It's completely free. You go to the website, and you tell me which email to send it to, and I send it to you. So growmyefficientbusiness.com, that's there. I also, this is more of a recent thing, but this is for people who have been in business a while, and they're trying to... Um, they're trying to kind of reformat their business plan and get a growth plan. And like, Chad, I don't even know what you're talking about. I've never had a growth plan. Then you definitely need to go and download this because this is one of the first steps that I teach my students. It's one of the first steps that I teach in the course. And so this is uh, this is free on the website too. You just answer a couple of questions, which helps me. Um, and the questions are, hold on, I can't think. The questions are, um, what do you struggle with in your business? And then why? That's basically the question. Just two questions. And then you can get the guide to building. Can you see this? I hope you can. Building uh, wedding business relationships. And this is incredible. Even if you've been in business a while, it has, it has the guide and then it has a worksheet for you to do. And so it's a really valuable tool. And if you've never done this, if you've never built relationships with other wedding vendors and wedding professionals in your area, it is one of the reasons my wedding business blew up and uh, I was able to make over $100,000 a year in my business because uh, of of this step. Now there's a lot of other steps that I teach and things that I do, but this is one of the this is one of the big ones. And if you've never done it, please go download this. It will help your business tremendously. Now a lot of people have downloaded things and said, "Chad, um, I like it. That was a great resource. I'm still struggling in my business and my next question is have you have you gone through this? Have you gone? Have you printed it out and highlighted things in there that you're not doing and implemented them? Um, well, I read through it and I, I looked at some things and I was like, oh, that's a great idea, but I haven't really implemented a lot in it. Implement the things, and then <laughs> people that have downloaded this say, Chad, this is an awesome resource, and I can't wait to implement it. Please don't don't do that. Don't say, I can't wait to implement it. Go implement this in your business and change your business. Your business, the performance of your business and the income that you make can literally change your life. It can take you from, um, from a full-time job that you, you hate into doing this full-time and you loving it. It, it can change your passion because once you start making the money, you're more passionate, you're more uh, self-confident because you're like, man, this thing is working for me. And I'm trying to give you these tools, not so that you can say these are cool resources, but so that you can take them and you can highlight things and you can write them into a new business plan. Even if your business plan is just a notebook, write them into your new business plan and say, I need to implement all these things and start tomorrow. Start today. Start today implementing these things in your business. I made these because I care and I want you to be able to have the success in your business and I want you to be able to achieve what you want to achieve, what you need to achieve to not just support your family, but to fill that passion for your job and to love your love your career as an officiant. So I really hope what I've said today uh, some of you will take it to heart. All of you will take it to heart. And if you needed that, I want you to take the advice and implement it. Change your pricing structure if you need to change that. Change the way uh, your packages are structured. If you don't have packages, please get some packages because when people look at your pricing and start adding mileage, and if you've priced that right, your your service is right, and they're adding mileage, and then they're like, ooh, I'd like to add that, and I need to add this custom vows, and I need to add a special ceremony. By the time they add all that, they should be able to go to a package you've created, or you should be able to create a custom package and, and sell that, seal the deal by saying, hey, I've got a custom package that includes all that. Even if you have to make it up on the spot on the phone and say, I've got a custom package that includes all that, it'll actually save you $75. It'll save you $100 if you'll go ahead and book that today. Seal the deal, make the sale. A lot of you are struggling with making the sale, sealing the deal, and getting people to commit 
immediately give you a retainer and book the day. And if I if this piece of advice can help you uh, get that retainer and make more sales and uh, price your packages higher and make more money, then, then I'm happy I've done my job today. So again, thank you for listening to uh, Grow My Efficient Business today. I hope that you'll go and get these two resources. Um, and then I hope you'll, I hope you'll not only download them or print them off or whatever, I hope you'll take them and implement them into your business. Please reach out to me if you have anything for me, if you have any questions, or if I can help you, chad at growmyefficientbusiness.com. Go to the website, get the free resources, um, and I can't wait to talk to you again really soon. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. If you got value out of this, please rate and review the podcast. That helps us stay on the air. Head over to our YouTube channel, Grow My Efficient Business, and for free resources and to keep up with what's going on, go to www.growmyefficientbusiness.com. My name's Chad Muncie. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day.